This week on Sail Away. We participate in our very first dinghy drift at Brunswick Landing Marina. Nothing like taking a hacksaw to a brand new AC unit before you even put it in, but it's a boat. And we tackle installing our brand new air conditioner. Last week, our long list of projects began. Just got to install one macerator, two shower sump boxes, and hopefully we will once again be waste management sound. We experienced the blessing of the fleet and got a big delivery. New one. Yep. Hey Rivers, what are we going to do? <gasps> what are we getting ready to do? Dingy. Dingy, that's right. There she is, sitting proudly afloat above the water inflated so tonight I, do they have a name for this thing Not what they said. Psst, the dinghy float that's what I'm gonna call it and basically everybody in this marina takes their dinghies up to the bridge giant bridge it's like a 180 foot high bridge and then we all just float back and eat snacks and drink drinks um, and watch the sunset so pretty cool and we don't have a motor yet however this is Connor and Ross and Mandy our new friends and <laughs> they they have offered to come and drag our asses up to the, the bridge so let's go do it go ahead Zog you ready to get in I'm gonna go get a dog water too you told me I'm your anchor, I told you you're my pole. Through the wind and fire we try to hold on. So the concept of the dinghy drift is pretty simple. You get in your dinghy, you head upstream to meet with all the other dinghies. Dancing in the moonlight, the world just stopped and stares. We got no destination. Tie up with all the other dinghies and pour yourself a drink. That's mommy daddy drink. I brought you a drink though. And sit back, enjoy the company, the sunset, and the full moon. I always be your captain. I'll be your captain. Dingy dingy! Dingy dingy! Rivers, can you say dilly or dingy dingy? Hey, Rivers. Dingy dingy! And as the night drifts by, the dinghies slowly drift home. That's how you move uh, 10 dinghies. Unless I'm counting wrong, which I probably am. Towing ourselves back upstream. We don't want the party to end too soon.
going. <laughs> Good morning all. Up to this point, I have been mm -hmm. catching up on my audiobook schedule. And uh, today, I'm finally done for, I don't know, I think I got a week and a half off. Which means, boat projects. We got one real big one, which I'm gonna try to tackle today. And that is a brand new AC unit. And this is a Aqua Air self-contained unit and uh, should be a little bit smaller a little bit quieter a little bit more efficient and a little bit lighter than what we have down here which is original to the boat it's a marine air and we had it tested in Fort Lauderdale found a leak he thought in the nipple that you charge through and fixed it and about two days max after we got here, it started blowing hot air again. And that little service call cost $600. Well, a brand new unit costs about $1,600, this one up here. So instead of uh, spending potentially another five or $600 to have another tech come out and look at an old system and maybe fix it, we're just putting a whole new one in. That's what we're doing today. First thing I did was disconnect everything. Turned off the AC for the air conditioning circuit and then I even unplugged the shore power, just in case, you never know. All right, so I'm just now trying to figure out how the, the wiring corresponds. Is it beating you? Not yet, come on. Basically it's just power. You got the salt water pump, uh, negative and positive, and then the primary leads for negative and positive for power. Mm -hmm. But there's one more wire on this one, the white one that comes in with the main power leads right here. And on their little panel, it's called L2. The pump is just a negative lead. So that must be the positive for their the pump on that. Yeah. Good. I hope. I haven't looked online for instructions for this yet, but it might maybe say something about that kind of stuff. I think I'll do that before I go too crazy. But yeah, not bad so far. I might need more coffee. One minor design flaw for the 146 LE. A sink within three-year-old reach. What are you doing? I just was uh, uh -huh. stuck with the water. All right, so I've been doing Baby. a little bit of uh, a little bit of research on connections here, and these two do have the same connections. They're just labeled very slightly differently. Basically, green wires are ground, black wires are hot, and white wires are negative. And then the only other connection we have is this which goes to the control board and obviously we have a whole different unit so I'm gonna have to run that through there probably uh, try and connect them together and just see if I can't snake the whole thing through and replace one with the other and I'm in the process of disconnecting all this stuff now and then next will come all the hoses hoses and ducts Okay, now here you'll see we've got flow, so water pump out and then down in there, water pump in, and then also a little drain hose that's connected to the side of the drain pan. And that's our only water connections. As you can see, it's in a pretty nice spot. Just to give you a little bit of orientation if you haven't been able to figure it out before now. It's our main settee and then it just lifts right up and there's the unit. So, you know, a little bit of wiggling around to get everything out. 
pass. Not a bad spot to work in at all. Our first conundrum here. Uh, how to hook up our duct. So this, we just got the single out here. And we have three ducts. One, two, three, going to both of these. And then the third one goes up to the forward cabin up there. And with this, it has this screw-on fitting. And I don't know if I can retrofit that to fit the one we have, but I'm gonna take it off and see. Got this here thingy off. That's the technical HVAC term for it. This is a hunter item. And then what we have on the new one is just a single round cuff. Size-wise, that fits this perfect. It's the exact same basic dimensions, but that is in the way. And it appears to be bonded in there. I'm kind of thinking a hacksaw is in order. Just slice this thing right off right here. Screw it right on. Nothing like taking a hacksaw to a brand new AC unit before you even put it in, but it's a boat. Oh, that's a horrible noise. Dude, coolest spot in the boat right there. Yeah, that'll work. Well, got this bad boy to fit on there. Drilled some new holes and used stainless steel sheet metal screws and then added a little extra double sided insulation tape there to make sure there was no open cracks, but there's a lot of this between it too, so. It's nice and solid. And now we're ready to lower that sucker back down in there and see if I can get everything hooked back up. Yeah. Alright, we're getting there. Alright, got the line run for control panel. That's it right there. Still connected to the last bit of the old line. And it's a big old pain in the ass. And I take all that stuff apart and kind of guide it by hand because there were some real tight spots down there. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. But, Hi, Daddy. But I got it. Hi, Daddy. You didn't know. We're, we're back. Hi, Rivers. We're back. All done, huh? God, man, that grease. the train. Grease feels good. Yeah. It's real freaking hot down here, by the way, so AC can't get installed too fast. Hey, game in the bed. Oh no, help me! You can climb down and get the bear. Getting there. I got the uh, control line run. Cool. I realized that pain in the ass. I've been I'm wearing my shirt inside out, so. <laughs> Making good impressions at this marina, that's for sure. Literally, everything is done except for the two hoses. Got our, wow. our mounts installed. Got all our connections made and double checked. And the ducting connected. And the info wire is connected to the brand new control panel. And I just gotta run to uh, West Marine or someplace and get some longer hose. Okay, finally, the day is almost over. But I have everything installed. You have to buy one new hose. That black one there for our discharge hose. Couple the other one with a little bit longer extension and give it a loop so there's no hard bend in it. And that's pretty much it. Everything is hooked up. We just uh, hooked the power back up to the boat and we'll switch it on and see what it does. So, conditioner forward, air conditioner relay, that's for the pump. Now it's running. 
91 degrees in here, 92, set on 72. Feels cool. Run outside, see if we got water gushing out. And we sure do. So far so good. Let's go see if it's getting cool. That's cold. Nothing's exploding. I don't see any sparks. There's no water gushing anywhere. And that is definitely some cold air right there. Does it feel cold up there? Colder. Might take a while to cool down the ducks. So it's real cool in this one that's like connected right to it. So. All right, I'm gonna call that a success for now, and I'm gonna clean all this stuff up. We'll close our hatches, and see if it gets cold. Next week on Sail Away. <sighs> Thanks for coming along here in Santa's workshop. <laughs> Sorry, should I have captured you at a slightly different time? Yeah, well then I didn't mess it all up. And I am almost done with the desk portion of my office. So we got a special delivery coming right now. Coming in a big old semi truck. As always, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and ring the bell if you'd like a notification for every upcoming video. And give us a like, it really helps us out. And if you really like what we do and want to help contribute to the making of these videos, go check out our Patreon page and consider becoming a crew member. Thanks so much and see you next week. Cheers!